Hola amigos, bien o no, mis saludos desde Medellín. Hoy el tema es escuchando, o más correcto para decir, para buscar por cualquier oportunidad para escuchar. Ese es el tema de hoy. So, hello again from Medellín. Um, as ever, this time of day, we have some... Uh, some rainstorms in progress, so uh, if I have to flee the terrace, you'll forgive me. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Um, so the theme of today is listening. Listening. Now we've spoken in earlier videos about why this is really important, um, because clearly it's the quickest way we're going to pick up the sounds of our new language by listening, and particularly by listening to what people actually say because there is some difference between what the books tell you they're going to say and what they actually sound like in your local area, perhaps. So, let's give you an example from my experience today to show you what I mean by taking every possible opportunity to listen. Now we can look at this as more of what you might call more like an active listening process. Um, my uh, opportunity today, I took quite a long bus journey in the middle of the rush hour, um, which in itself you know, took a long while. But the interesting thing with this is during the journey, um, while I'm sat there looking out the window, I was joined variously um, throughout the journey by three different people, all of whom at different points on their journey were talking to friends on the telephone. This for me was very helpful because um, now not that I'm ad advocating particularly eavesdropping and being nosy about all the things they're talking about but it is useful to listen to some of their patterns of speech in terms of what do they say when they're talking to their friends or their mum how do they say hello how do they say goodbye and then often because clearly you're only listening to one half of the conversation based on the key words you're picking up, could you guess the theme of the conversation? Um, often it's just like appointments, or I'm going to meet you here, or what time, or shopping list type stuff, but um, it's still an interesting exercise, because once you get used to doing this, anywhere you're waiting around, you know, um, even the supermarket queue, can become a useful point of reference for you to listen for things. Because all around us, there's lots of conversations and lots of other stuff going on. And if we start to tune into odd ones of those occasionally, that's going to help us pick up more, well, I'd say more useful speech patterns. Um, and this is particularly helpful when we're living in the, in the country where they speak the language we're trying to study, um, because we're going to pick up directly any type of local accent, any type of local slang or different types of dialects they use wherever you are, um, the quickest way to pick that up is to listen to the locals. So there we go. That's my thought for the day. Try that if you can. A bit more active listening. So when you're sat around outside with the general public, um, don't necessarily tune out completely. Listen a bit more to what's going on around you. See how much of that you understand. You might be surprised. Um, and if nothing else, it's going to help attune your ear to the local dialect. And that in itself is very helpful. So there we go. Something to try. Déjeme saber en los comentarios, como siempre. How you get on with that. But for now, from Medellín, say cheerio.